All right, so in this video, I'm just going to try to make chat tags that can display, you know, owner, or if you're in a group, or if you're just a guest. So the first thing we want to do is just make a script in serve script service, and then I'll just call that chat tag script. And now we can start scripting the chat tags. First thing I want to do is make a chat service variable, so local chat service. We're not going to set it to anything yet, we're just going to leave it like that. And now we're going to make a function to load a player's chat tag, so I'll just call that function load chat tag and then a pair of brackets and then the player's name so take the name variable and then now we want to get chat service if we don't already have it so if not chat service then we want to set the chat service variable equal to require game colon get service service script service colon wait for child chat service runner I'll zoom out a bit so you can see what I'm doing. And then, and then, colon, wait, child, chat, service. So, that's going to get chat service. And now we can do local player equals game dot players, colon, find first child, name. And then, local ID equals player dot user ID. And then, local speaker equals chat service, colon, get speaker, name. And now we can say local speaker equals nil and then while speaker equals equals nil do speaker equals chat service come and get speaker and then the name and then if speaker isn't equal to nil then break end wait point zero one. So what this is gonna do is while we don't have a speaker yet it's going to wait essentially until the, the player is a speaker in the chat and now we've done that we can set some data set some tags for the player so first of all we're going to find out if the player is the owner so how we can do that is we can say if id equals equals and now we need to get your player user id so how we can do that is if you go to the roblox website and then if you find your profile so i go to my profile here in the top url bar you'll find this number that is your user ID. If you just copy that and then go back to Roblox Studio, you can then paste it. So if this is your ID, then you are the owner. So we want to give you the owner back the owner tags. So to give the tags, what we're going to do is we're going to say speaker colon set extra data and a pair of brackets and then tags and then a comma and then two of the curvy curly brackets. And then in here, we want to say tag text equals and then whatever you like, but I'm just going to say owner and then comma tag color and then whatever you want the tag color to be so we'll just do color three dot new and then let's just say i want it to be like darkish red you can choose it from the color wheel or you can type out a color so this is our owner tag we can now go and copy this and we can say else if and now we're going to find out if the player is in our group so you can skip this if you don't have a group but if you do you can say if player colon is in group and a pair of brackets and then you want to get to your group id so for me that is this number here and you can get a group id by again going to the roblox website and then finding your group so this is my group here and then in the url bar copying this number again and now back in roblox studio we're just going to say then and then we're going to copy this again and we're going to paste it here and we're just going to change the color to whatever you want the other color to be so i'll make for group members i'm just going to make it blue and I'm going to change the tag text to member. And then I'm going to say else. So if the user isn't me, isn't in the group, then I'm going to paste this again. So copy and paste. And I'm going to change the color to white. And I'm just going to change the tag text to guest. All right. So now we've made our function. What we're going to do is going to have a an event that fires every time a player joins the game. So game.players.player added. And we'll connect function. And then in these brackets, we just take the player object. And then we're going to say load chat tag player.name. Right. And now you can play the game. But as you can see currently when I type in the chat, it's pink. But that's not the colour I set it to. The reason that is, is because I have spelt colour wrong. You need to spell it with the American spelling, C-O-L-O-R. So just make sure tag colour is spelt correctly. So now if we play the game again. You can see that if I say hello or yes, you will see I get the correct colour. So, 
that was how you can make chat tags in Roblox Studio. If you found this helpful, then please subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.